Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka The Only Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.7.4 and 1.7.5. It does work with both versions using the exact same process. It's not hard, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, this is the first link in the description. So you go down there, you click this link right here. It's on the Minecraft form. You can go there and then scroll down to Minecraft 1.7.5. And then pick whichever mod version you want. For me, I'm going to go with 1.7.5. Let's go ahead and click more info. It'll then take you to a page that looks like this. With this right here. And then you need to look for the download link. Now, be careful because this is 1.7.4 and you need 1.7.5. Or 4, it doesn't matter. It's going to work either way. But I would recommend 1.7.5 because it's newer. So we're going to go ahead and click this link. It'll then take us to an Adfly link that'll look something like this. You'll have an ad here and then you have to wait. Now, you may need to enable cookies on your browser for this to work, and if you still can't get it to work after doing that, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. There's nothing I can do. I guess you could go and type this exact link in. Anyway, once you're on this Dropbox page, simply hit download. It will then download right down here to the bottom. As you can see right there it is. Once you've done that, you can go to your home screen here, your desktop, and find the shaders mod. Now, it may be in your downloads folder, so if it is, Go here, search downloads, and click that. It will then open up your downloads folder. So it may be here. But nevertheless, once you've found this, it should be shaders, mod, v, whatever, installer. Right click on it, and then do open with Java TM platform SC binary. It will then open up something that looks like this, and click yes. Version 1.7.5 mods made. Add a new profile. Cannot find version of Optifine. Okay. Once you've done that, you can now launch Minecraft, so let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. So when you open up the Minecraft Launcher, you're going to see something like this, okay? And it's because you've installed a new profile using a mod. So don't freak out, just simply hit play. It will then open up everything as normal. Now, what I would recommend doing is going over here to Profile Editor, right-clicking on this, which is 1.7.5-Shaders mod, and deleting that profile. Then go to the profile that you want to play on. In this case, for me, it'll be Dead Buddha, and hit Edit Profile. And then go to Used Version and click that. Scroll down until you see 1.7.5 or 1.7.4, whatever you decided to install, Shaders Mod. Click that and then Save Profile. Now we can get, click Play and it will open up Minecraft 1.7.5 with Shaders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let Minecraft open and I'll meet you guys once I'm in the game. Now once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, it's really, really easy to see if you have the Shader Mods installed. Simply go to Options, Shaders, and then boom, here you go. If you have this shaders option, shaders is now installed and you are ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, I can't show you guys shaders in game because my PC uh, cannot run shaders. It requires too much memory on the part of my PC and I cannot uh, play Minecraft with shaders whatsoever. It's I literally can't move. Minecraft just crashes. But if you have a decent PC, you'll be able to run shaders mod without any problems. But... As you can see in the options, it is installed. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I'm Nick's Game. Subscribe if you haven't already for awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. And I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left, I show you how to install more than one Minecraft mod at a time. So you want to run Forge and you want to run Optifine, that video will show you how to do that. So go check it out. Also, on the right is how to run Minecraft 1.7.9 with absolutely no lag. That video breaks down how to run Minecraft with no lag and the steps that you need to take to get there. Also, check out my daily vlogs at the bottom of your screen. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.